What's up, what's up everybody? C Block Rascal bring you one of my other old schools. Um first of all today's a beautiful day in Chicago, so I got a chance to bring this one out through this video. Um shout out to um everyone that subscribes to my channel, shout out to the new subscribers. Um like, share, comment, please. I would appreciate it. Um if you guys are into the old schools. Um, subscribe to my channel because I'm definitely gonna keep bringing them. So, if you're into them, you want to purchase one from me, send a message, let me know. Today, I'm bringing you guys a 1971 Chevelle convertible. I'm sorry, it's a 72. It's a 72. Um, this is a beautiful car. It drives fantastic. Um, you know, it's not perfect. It does have little stuff, you know. Um, but she is a beautiful car. She drives and runs great. And can drive anywhere. And it's convertible. And if you guys know bought these cars you guys know that they big big money these cars are going from 70 to 80 thousand dollars and up um i got this one fairly priced um it does need interior work as you can see um it's got the seats ripped right there and the back door panels don't look the best um, the back seat is all there is really nice but like I said it's it's 1972 this interior is from 1972 the door panels in the front um, I just put them on um, I got lucky I found those um, this is a pro white interior this is the factory pro white interior from this car that's the way it came out uh, factory uh, Pearl, which is called parchment um this is a factory blue color for this car so yeah this is the factory blue from it so yeah by not being perfect this is what i mean you know when these interior work um the guy that does the interiors for me he's kind of booked up right now so he's giving me a a few months wait but if i find someone else i will get it redone you know i just raise up the price on it um the convertible top works um has two little splits on it i would recommend changing that also but other than that this car is a driver drives good looks beautiful this is a 1972 chevelle it is not an ss it's a clone Let me open the engine for you guys if you guys know about these chevelles the engine this is how you open the hood got a lever down here pull that and then one second i'm gonna raise up just at the same time you gotta raise up the hood at the same time as you're pulling the lever out um A small block 400 got headers of the block carburetor like I said if I don't sell this car soon I'm just gonna go ahead and completely redo it um, restore it completely Seventy-two Chevelles convertible. There were not a lot of them made. This is the last year of this body style. If you look at this body style. That's the last year that this body style came out, which is 1972. Um, 
this car turns on on a dime. I'm gonna take you guys for a ride around, but just so you can see. All right. drives good but I'm gonna give it a tune up it doesn't really need it but for the fact that it's been sitting for a while I'm gonna go ahead and just do a tune up all the lights work brake light corner lights and I know some of you guys might say hey this is a those are not the correct lenses you're right these are not the correct lenses these right here are for a 1971 uh, uh, Chevelle and this is a 72 the reason I did that I did buy these but the reason I changed them was because in 1972 the lights that go here they're all orange and it just looks ugly to me this looks ugly and I know most of you Chevelle owners will agree that the 1972 corner lights which, are, which is the same one except that it's not clear it's orange it's all orange to me I think it, it doesn't look that good so I I bought these and I put these on these are for 1971 but like I said I like them like that Jump in this car and give you guys a ride around real quick. Um, the brake light is on. Um, I'm gonna fix that. It's not the brakes. The brakes are not messed up or nothing. The brakes stop good. Um, all the none of the cylinders are leaking. Um, so yeah, they stop good. But I think that's the sensor. It's called the dummy light. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that fixed. Cause this car has 31,000 miles. does respond and this car's been sitting for a while now the windshield has some stains on it I don't know if you guys can see it I'm gonna try to get it cleaned up if not if it doesn't come off well I'm gonna put a new windshield on for whoever buys the car just because I hate the that fog I don't know what that is but like I said if I can't take it out